The following audio is via a Skype call. When was the last time you did something that would take you closer to a life that you'd love? Get answers to this and many other life-changing questions on Grow Your Soul Radio. Ignite your inner magic and learn the art of life mastery with Jane Matanga. Jane will unlock and help you reclaim the magic in your life. Take an inspiring journey with Jane as you receive guidance toward the path of your greatest dreams and desires as she helps you reach success as you make powerful changes that will get you back on track and keep you there. Discover insightful tools, world wisdoms, and exercises in this hit call-in show. Transform and awaken your inner light right now on Grow Your Soul Radio. Hey, everybody. Super welcome. I'm Dr. Pat, and I'm here with Jane Matanga. We are here today in a live Facebook show as well as radio show coming across the country to all of you and across the Internet everywhere. Today, this is a live call-in show. It is about live angel card readings from Jane. Now, two ways we're going to do this today. One is you're going to actually be able to dial in to our 800 number, 1-800-930-2819. Or there are three ways. Or you can go to the Dr. Pat Show website, and that's the drpatshow.com. And what you'll see is uh, a place for you to type in your question. Um, And when you get there, you'll type it in. You'll see that I'm fooling around with colors on my website and reformatting it. So it's right next to the red player. It says, ask your question, or you could either call or you could type it in and we'll get that. Or the third way is if you're watching us on Facebook Live, Uh, What you can do is you've got comments there and you could simply just start saying, hey, I'm Evelyn and here I am. This is my question. And Jane will go from there. Jane, do you need specific information from people or just if they really have a a specific question that they want to address? If it's a, you know, if it's a health issue, if it's something with regard to their career, work or or even relationships, if they, you know, if they have that specific concern, I can specifically ask that question for their guidance. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, if they just want to know what their angels want them to know, then I can ask for that. And and they'll always tell them what they really need to hear. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's start out today. I mean, you know, the thing that I would love to talk about is, um, when we're asking ourselves the question and the question is, do I really believe I'm the light? I mean, do I really believe I'm the light? Um, You know, I've been doing this show 15 years, had my own version of various awakenings. Sometimes I think my soul is growing, sometimes not so much, Jane. Um, You you know, maybe like a little bit, but then it like ungrows itself, I think. Um, (laughs) but, But in the end, uh, we are the light. Today, you're going to help us remember that we are, and that's what the, the readings are about. But how do we discover this essence of ourselves? How, have you, how do you help people do that? I know you do it every day. You know, it's all about your journey within. Uh, Rainier Maria Reiki says the only journey is the journey within, and that's where we need to go. Uh, when you are living a whole life, a a fulfilled life, you get out of what we call your personality. So your personality is everything you can feel and touch. It's your five senses. It's your body. You know, what, what society has trained us to believe that our bodies are and how important that is and how we look. And, and, uh, so that's not really who you are. Who you are has nothing to do with the five senses. It has nothing to do with your physical body. It's an invisible intelligence that beats your heart, that aligns the planets, that makes the flowers grow. It beckons you when you have passion. You know, when you're listening to a conversation and and all of a sudden your ears perk up and you go, oh, you know, because it's speaking to you, something that you were meant to hear, that's your impersonal self. 
And uh, according to Joseph Brenner, he wrote a book called The Impersonal Life. So every one of us has both a personal self and an impersonal aspect of our being. So the personal self is what we were just talking about, you know, our bodies, our five senses, our intellect, our impersonal self is our soul, our alignment, our wholeness, our higher intelligence. It's a power that is a a universal force. Mm -hmm. And when you approach your life in that way, it, it, it is that you're freeing yourself from all the other societal conditionings that we have been trained to believe about who we really are. You know, it's, it's limiting. It's, you know, we're so much more than our personality and we just need to get reminded about that. Um, every day we just need to remind ourselves Mm -hmm. not to get into our ego and not get, get so honed into our intellect. We overthink things. Scientists have measured that people think the same thought over and over again almost every day. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I know you refer to this, you know, in terms of how a candle, you know, you take a candle and you know, I, I love using candles myself. I, I have both the kind that you light like with a match, right? Yeah. But then I have all these battery operated little candles. And what I love is the room can be completely dark, black, pitch black. And you turn on that candle and there is a ripple effect of how that light then diminishes and cracks through this dark blackness that could be a metaphor for some some points in time in our lives. It's so true. And mm-hmm. it is. And that's who we are internally. We are light. And, and we'll get into really talking more deeply about that. But the light is in that. And you express that so beautifully about how we can be a candle uh, when we are with other pe- beings and other people and our friends and our family and how we can impact those people who might be going through a time that's challenging, you know, like what we all go through from time to time in our life. And we can be that light and we are that light and we have the ability. It's who we touch and how we touch them. That's our legacy. I mean, that's our greatest legacy is who we touch in our everyday lives doesn't have to be a big thing. We don't have to be Einstein. That that's great, you know, if if you know that's our soul path, that's wonderful. But we don't have to be that. We can touch people with a smile. We can help them at the grocery store. We can be kind. We can be generous. We can be loving. And that's our light. That's our impersonal intelligence. That's our deepest being and that's our essence it's it's who we are it's who babies are when they're born until they get you know that socialized out of them yeah because yeah well one of the things we're doing today in discovering our divine light what that means how it is you know i know you work with people all over the world and uh we are as i've said before phone lines are open 1-800-930-2819 We are taking your calls. Jane is going to do a very special, unique reading for each of you that call in. And I'm hoping we can, you know, just get all of the callers in throughout the show today, because this is a very special show to help light or ignite that flame, you know, open that up to help people dissipate whatever the heaviness or the darkness is. Now, tell folks a little bit about the reading that you're going to do on air. Well, the readings really come from your divine angels. We all have angels, archangels, guides, ascended masters that are with us. And some of them are with us our entire lives. And then there are special archangels who have special gifts from God and they have special talents. And whenever we're feeling challenged in a certain area and we ask for help, they come in and they help us. And so um, they are powerful beyond measure and they're here to help us in our day-to-day lives they are our best friends they are our, a gift and they can empower us to do so many things if we open up and believe they are you know they can help us with our voice they can help us with our manifesting even our material wants in this life 
They can help us with our health and emotional health. They can help us with our soulmates. Uh, they can help us with our writing and our creativity. And all we need to do is ask and they will come and be like our best friends. It's like talking to a best friend. You know, well, when you. Well, this is what I love about this and what you're talking about is that when we're talking to our best friend, it's full disclosure, Jane. It's I mean, full it disclosure. Is like, it's, it's like, can you imagine me talking to Linda and think I'm going to like, you know, just blow by something that is not happening. Right. But the angels can come in and give us some insight. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, I have a question for you. And it really has to do with the passion of mine. And I would love to know what the angels are saying about this. It's a very specific project uh, that um, an idea that came to me. And we're on the verge of getting a little video done for our crowdfunding. And I would love for people to see how you work, whether it's with an idea, with a turmoil, whatever that is in your life. This is the work that you do. Now, we're not going to do it today, but you also use crystals, too. I do. And I love crystals. Oh, my Me gosh. <laughs> I just love them. So have such energy. Oh, my God. So here we go. 1-800-930-2819 or go to Transformation Talk Radio on Facebook or the Dr. Pat Show on Facebook and go ahead and you can type in your question and I will get Carter to help me figure out how to look for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can't all be good at everything. Let's take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back. The Janice Underwood Show, helping you create the life you want, not the life you tolerate. Tune in each Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as Janice delves into the life creator system and the next step in your spiritual evolution. Janice Underwood is gifted at helping spiritually minded people shift their mindsets to unleash the creator within. Our souls wish to wake us up. Those of us listening, hear the call. Do you? For more information, visit JaniceUnderwood.com. Conscious Confidence Radio, a timeless wisdom with Sarah Main. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio and join Sarah on an adventurous journey to the deeper level of meaning to move beyond today's world of constant change, confusion, and uncertainty beyond the shadow of fear. This hit show explores key concepts such as confidence, values, and attitude in a dynamic way. To learn more about Sarah and her work, visit sarahmain.com. Tap into the wisdom of animals, angels, and masters with Darcy Pariso on Animal Soul Wisdom Radio. Tune in monthly as Darcy brings insights on how to better understand and deepen our relationships with animals. Working with light and pureness of ancient techniques, Darcy, healer, animal communicator, and medium is here to guide you through this process and provide inspiration to move forward. For more information about working with Darcy, visit DarcyPariso.com. Do you know how powerful your thoughts and beliefs are in determining your experience of your life? Is it really true that simply by changing some of the words you use in your day-to-day -day language that you can change your life? I'm Megan Edge. Join me on Playing on the Edge Radical Change with Ease with my co-host Dr. Pat on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. To find out more about Megan Edge, visit her website at meganedge.ca. Practice living in wholeness with the body tune-up. Six classes for $89 designed for radical self-healing and self-regeneration. Heal the deepest root of any challenge. The mental body was programmed in negativity. Not good enough. Separate from source. You're too much. You'll never make it. The emotional body holds all the pain and trauma of emotional suppression. All the pain from this life and life's past. The spiritual body is the place you connect with your higher power, your higher self, with the image and likeness of the one. The physical body houses and expresses the other three bodies every day. Go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Evolve, become a practitioner. We need to heal 
integrate and bring into wholeness and harmony the physical body, addressing all the other bodies in order to live in our true, authentic nature. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Great to have all of you tune us in, turn us on. Um, Jane Matanga joining us here today. we got a great show for all of you. And here's the thing I love about her radio show, Grow Your Soul Radio. Um, we're talking about igniting your inner magic for those of you that are out there and wondering, what does that even mean? Um, today, Jane, you're focusing on the fact that we are all the light and uh, this is a live open call in angel reading show. And one of the things I wanted to demonstrate is how you work, because I got to watch you the other day do a reading um, that we're going to be sharing with folks later on for the world. But I wanted to, you know, just talk about something that showed up for me today. And I'll tell you what it is. You know, we have been advocates for uh, Lyme disease and Lyme disease awareness now uh, for 10 years, you know, before people are like, couldn't even spell Lyme, right? And I know you all are familiar with it. Um, and so, you know, we're developing a crowdfunding platform for it. Uh, and of course, we're developing a video game um, app for it. And uh, someone said, had something interesting to say about it. And what they said about it had, had me take in and start to do some second guessing. And second guessing is never anything that I do a lot of. But I started to second guess myself. I would like some help from the angels to help me confidently move forward with this initiative, which I believe will save lives. Mm -hmm. So what would, an, what would the angels be saying to me to, one, either restore my confidence or mm -hmm. so that I could get guidance? Maybe there is something I have to look at doing differently with this. You know, maybe maybe there's a character that I didn't create uh, or something of that nature, uh, because I don't think there are any mistakes. I, I don't think that, you know, when somebody shows up and says this or that or the other thing to us, that it, it's meant for us not to hear it. I think there's always a reason, you know. But it could be a couple different things, like all the people that showed up and told me 15 years ago that I should totally deep six this radio show immediately. Just deep six it, bury it in the ground. Don't do the show. Nobody's going to listen. Positive talk. Nobody believes in it. Don't do it. So I actually had an angel visit and say, don't listen to that. That is like not the truth. So today... You know, I want to get some help or guidance from the angels on this video game slash app mm -hmm. we're creating with characters, animated characters, to bring a new level of awareness about Lyme disease prevention. And then how do you holistically treat it? Mm hmm. Uh, would you I've been shuffling and I did make a. Uh... Uh, uh, you know, uh, I did have a conversation with the angels asking them about what they wanted you to know about this task that you are, you know, um, kind of underway on. Mm -hmm. And the first card I drew was uh, nine of Raphael. And Raphael is he who heals. So it's uh, he who heals. And uh, Archangel Raphael is in charge of your physical well-being, your emotional well-being, and connections with other people, be it soulmates, people you work with, it's love, you know, because mm. the ultimate healing power and the highest vibration is your heart, and that's love. So the, the card speaks to the wish that you have, the dream that you have. It's literally a card that has a genie on it, and it shows, <laughs> here it is, it shows you making the wish of what you want to manifest in your life and having your faithful friend, which is, you know, the companions that are along your path to help you make this wish come true. And it literally says that dreams 
are becoming a reality and it's going to be a very joyful time in your life that mm. this is going to manifest. And then the second card I asked for was it's a four of Ariel. So Ariel is the archangel and she works with Archangel Michael and her name means um, courage and strength of God. And she's frequently comes through and she has red hair and she's like amazing, but she is the archangel who helps you manifest every material thing in life that you want. And so the card speaks to when you give, you also receive and it's talked to, and it's talking to not being resistant or allowing the idea of doing something different, get in your path and get in your way. It, it speaks to, um, just the power of being in balance and being believing and being in the flow and trusting that this is something that you're absolutely going to do. And, um, the third one is, and it's, it's King of Michael. So Michael is the head of all the Uh archangels and he always speaks to your purpose. So your soul's purpose in this life. And it's, he is speaking to, this is your future card. It's speaking to the wisdom and the objectivity, which is so important for you to maintain now, because you know what happens, all this stuff, right? Gets into your head and you're not allowing, right? That free flow, your creative being, your, your essence, your light to like flow through because you're, you're worried about kind of all the hows and all the stuff. And so it's saying to stay that you're very creative and you have an incredible amount of integrity. It's saying to stay in your integrity and the situation, it, it just calls for a lot of open communication in terms of your connecting with other people who are involved in making this dream uh, come true. Mm. And so it's alignment and lining up and uh, having everything kind of flow and, and trust the flow, kind of like, like a river, just allowing it to flow and not pushing it, just knowing and believing and trusting that this is going to happen. Well, you know, I, I, I think that for me, you know, one of the things I've learned is when there's an idea that comes to me and it doesn't matter what it is, it could be, you know, simple, simple, simple daily routine things. Um, I've learned over time to stop and pay attention. And so, you know, part of this is understanding how to stop and pay attention. And clearly, for me, I'm going to go back and listen to this and watch this later. But one of the things that that I know is that we have the best listeners on the planet, and they're ready to, to talk with you as well. So I would love, Nathan, if we could go to the phones and uh, let's bring on one of our fabulous, fabulous uh, callers, please. All right, Dr. Pat, here's Diane from Redmond. Hey, Diane, welcome to the show. Well, hello and thank you. I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. <laughs> I know, Nathan is so good. <laughs> Well, How can we help uh, I'll tell you, today? you why I'm calling today. Sure. And you mentioned it earlier. Uh, I've been suffering from Lyme disease for nine years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and I'm 80, and I still work, and, and I enjoy doing that. But it's getting to the point where I don't know that I'm going to be able to work much longer. It's all I can do just to get through that. And, mm-hmm. and I'm I, I, at the end of my tether, and I have researched this forever. And apparently there is no actual cure uh western medicine hasn't got a clue mm-hmm. and uh i i'm just at the end of my rope and i thought maybe the the angels might have something optimistic that i can hang on to let's ask them and yeah. it's is it it's not a specific medical question it's you're just asking really what they want you to know with regard to this well I don't want to know what the future holds exactly. I, I just, I, I, I'm only somebody else with Lyme disease can understand how devastating and crippling this is. Mm-hmm. Yep, is, I get it. Beyond belief. 
It's nothing I could ever describe that anybody could understand. And and I just, some days I feel like I'm losing my mind. And yeah. uh, I'm a pretty straight person about having both feet on the ground and facing life and all that. This is beyond my capacity to deal with. Mm-hmm. Let's ask them and see what they say. Yeah. Um, you know, they're 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 saying that um, that it, that it's safe to trust that the and it's actually the King of Raphael card. So remember, we talked about Raphael being the archangel of healing, physically, emotionally. And with relationships, and so his his vibration is, is very high because it's it speaks to love and the power of love, which heals everything. So it's talking about that it's safe to trust, and that you have the ability to accomplish many things at once, and to to just follow your passion, and not allow this to be a focus, which is paralyzing. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what they're saying. They're saying just be the loving, beautiful soul that you are. And even though this is challenging, not to focus on this yeah. because it's a limiting belief. And they say that you are a gentle, loving, open-hearted, beautiful soul. And I'm hearing those words in caps. And and then the, the future card is Page of Raphael. So it's perfect because page of rap page, when you get the page, it's like a portal that you're going to go through. It's your future. It's like what you're stepping into. And it talks about, uh, it's even though it's an emotional situation right now, that it's a growth, it's a life lesson. It's a growth experience and it's going to bring in some different relationships, some social invitations and some great intuitive insights. So there's a uh, there's a learning lesson in this, and it's not meant to make you suffer or make you immobilize you in any way. It's to, really to remind you of who you are. Mm-hmm. You know, your love, your your light, your your, and you just have an amazing heart mm-hmm. and ability to just live this life in an open way without allowing something like that to block your path. And so sometimes when that happens to us, it's sort of, we, it's an energetic, it's not that we wished it, you know, some people say, well, it's, we wished it to happen. Mm, And, you know, or we had a contract where, you know, our soul said we would, that's not true. What, what's true is that there's some energetic match that uh, created this to come into our life, some energetic match that, made it kind of manifested it into our lives Mm -hmm. because it's a lesson and something that we need to go through in Mm -hmm. order to learn not only to love ourselves, but, but others, or it's a, it's, or patience or uh, uh, being confident in ourselves and believing in ourselves and loving ourselves no matter what. And, and so this is, it's looking at what this is teaching us from Mm -hmm. a very, from a good, you know, like there's, it's the good that we focus on. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're saying. Yeah. Um, So, uh, yeah, I want to just comment for a minute too, is that, um, yes, I did mention Lyme disease and, you know, it is part of what my, my vision and mission is about to bring a whole new level of awareness about what it is and what it's not. And one of the things I want to say to you before we go to break is that in my own personal journey, I had to learn mentally of how to look at myself, my life, and the disease. And right. to really be able to look at it without this understanding that the medical community would have me believe. And um, I can't tell you exactly when the day was or what exactly popped up, but it wasn't a conversation I was having with Dr. Darvish and Dr. Ronnie. And I, out of my mouth said that one of the greatest enemies of healing from Lyme disease is the, the belief that we will not heal. 
That's that, right. That's what I found along the way. So, you know, one of the things that I want to share with you is the first point of victory for you, for me, for anybody out there around this, that first point of victory comes when we are able to look the thing straight in the eye, straight in the face, and, you know, just be very clear that we're not going to go quietly into the night, that it's not going to become who we are. And yet anybody that has Lyme disease, mm -hmm. uh, and I can talk from experience on this, is that you have to make sure that other people are telling you that, that we don't go down the path of defeat. Um, does that make sense to you? Did, I hope we were able to get you some help today. Well, that's, that's logical thinking on, on that part. Um, as I said, have you had Lyme disease? Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you have? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's so nobody you, that would... I, I mean, honestly, if you think about it, what kind of person would come up with a video game to with characters, right? You know, yeah. like whether we're going to call it Exploding Ticks or the Tickinator, uh, who would do that? I mean, what crazy person would come up with a game like that if they hadn't had the experience? Because... Yeah. You know, there are so many layers to the healing journey that isn't addressed in the Lyme disease community, and we have to figure out how to address it ourselves. End of the story. We have to figure out how to address it ourselves. And, and you're so much more powerful than mm -hmm. what you believe. And, mm -hmm. some, and a lot of times it's traditional medicine we need, but also there's a lot of uh, an organic approach that we can mm -hmm. take as well which yeah. speaks to the power that our bodies have to heal themselves. And that's where, you know, Archangel Raphael comes in mm -hmm. as well. We have incredible ability to, yeah. to heal our own bodies. Yeah. Do you know what I love about this call? Just so you know how beautiful your call is today. Somebody's going to hear this. Somebody like you, somebody like me. And they're going to rise up for one more day out of the ashes of defeat. And what I mean by that is the ashes of defeat looks like chronic fatigue that just won't quit. You know, pain in one's body that just won't go away. Doctors that you go to visit that don't actually have a conversation with you about your reality, but out of reality of a textbook. And your call today is helping so many people listening to this live and then that will listen to it in the future because you are a warrior. People that call into a show like this to ask for help the way you did about a disease that is not only not recognized in this country, but you know, not recognized, period. You picked up the phone, called in, and what you're doing is saying, I'm not gonna go down in defeat. And that's, that's what that, I heard that's you exactly say. Right. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. That is I've it. been on my own since I was 12 years old, and as I yeah. said, I'm 80, and, and I have every every challenge that's come at me, I've conquered. This one, that's I right. feel, I, I, I'm overwhelmed. Nope, nope, you're going to get it. You, you know, you have overcome way more. You're going to get this one. You're going to conquer it. I did. And the minute I was able to get the help I needed and know what to do, is when I just stood up and I said, you know what? I don't have any room for you in my life, period. And I began to do something different. And I want you to hold on to those words and just keep open to what the angels say. You're going to get some insight today. I don't know what it is, but you're going to get it. Can I tell you one thing that... Yeah, um, go ahead, Jane. And I, we'll just uh, gonna, just gonna to add to this, because I... Yeah, because I yeah. think you, you need to hear this. There's a book that's called No Storm Lasts Forever, and it's written oh. by Terry Gordon. And mm -hmm. I know that's why I read it today, because I think you were meant to hear it. So he was a heart surgeon who had all these amazing miracles happen in the process of being a heart surgeon. And now he's a spiritual teacher. But the heart is who we are, and it's the instrument that really allows us to think before the brain even does. So, And what, what he has discovered in his quest is that each beat of our heart connects us to the universe and it's 
it is eternal. And and every one of us interconnect with each other. It is the strong, and this is a quote from him, it is the strongest electromotive pulse in the universe. Each of us has a unique signal that passes through our entire body, but it continues out to the universe. And there's a hundred, I have to read this because I couldn't remember the exact number, but it's 186,000 miles per second that this energy goes through from our heart out into the universe. So in one, one minute, it travels 11 million miles away from its beacon point, which is our heart. So that's how powerful you are. Mm. So when you think you're not powerful and you can't mm-hmm. heal yourself and you want to be empowered, think about the power of that. Yeah. You know, that that's how much power we have. You know, it's beyond measure. It's infinite. You know, we mm-hmm. connect to the universe and that's it's... inspiring, however. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you for calling in. Thank you. Well, and um, thank you for taking the time mm-hmm. and for your information. I, I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Thank you. You're like a rock star. Appreciate you. Uh, we're going to skip the breaks um, and we're going to go to the phones. But before we do, Nathan, Jane, would you tell folks how they can find out more about you, how they can schedule their own full session? Because on air, you know, we're just doing a little snippet reading. Okay, sure. Uh, you can reach me at info at enlightened path.com. And I have a website. And you can check out, um, you know, my bio and experience and um, all the practices that I do with um, Angel, Archangel RXs and birth card readings. And you can schedule a reading or you can call me at, uh, you know, 203-631-4275. And I'm happy to do a phone reading as well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, Nathan, who do we have next? All right, Dr. Pat and Jane, we're going to go to the East Coast here. We've got Mel from New York City. Mel, you're on the air. Hey, Mel. Hi, Mel. Uh, How can we help you today? Are you there? Well, yes, I'm here. Hi. I'm here. Hello? Angels Hi, are ready to help you. Would you like, did you want to ask the angels a question or do you have a, would you like a reading? Yes, I, I would say yes to both. Um, what's okay. happening is I, um, I was, I was, I was a caregiver for my mother who, mm-hmm. um, who suffered with, uh, diabetes and end stage renal failure and also bouts of breast cancer and some other complications. Mm-hmm. And um, she had a little thing on her foot, but she was having trouble with her foot for a while. We went into the hospital. She had surgery, and everything went good a couple of Thursdays ago on a Friday, too. She was supposed to come home last Monday, and last Monday night, she had some issues with her stomach. She had some issues vomiting, and she passed away but yet last Tuesday morning. And so mm-hmm. I was thinking of coming home. And then, you know, middle of the night, three o'clock, they called me and said that, you know, something went terribly wrong. And I went up there at three o'clock in the morning and she was, you know, I was there, she was, she was gone within a couple of hours. So I'm still shocked. I don't plan to funeral. And I guess what I'm trying to figure out is, um, I guess I'm just shocked. So that's why I was calling in because it seemed like everybody was, um, on vacation, like all the places I listened to. And I was so happy that Chad was available today. I was just sort of reaching out to see what can a person do, was the question of our format, what can a person do who's been, um, who has devoted, I would use that word, devoted their lives to one purpose, which is to help somebody who's wounded as a child, and now that they're gone, and I'm still in shock, what are the things that I can do, is there any books or programs that you all know of that I can try to turn to, um, to sort of help me get out of this numbness and shockness that I'm in right now? Do you, uh, would you want me to do a reading and just, um, just to know that she's, what she wants you to know? Yeah, I mean, I would like? definitely like, I would like to definitely have a reading of, of, of anything that you can, um, okay. you know, share for the up- okay. upcoming. Uh, let me sh- just share with you that she is with you whenever you speak to her and you, and, and our souls are eternal. So she's still here. She's just not physical form. And um, she's saying right now not to be afraid, you know, that she knows that this has been a very 
difficult, challenging, and a little traumatic for you. And she's saying, please don't be afraid. Um, that she's always, she's your guide. She's going to always point you in the right direction. And she's there whenever you need her. And she's helping to guide you from the other side. And she's saying that you're going to be together again someday. And these are the cards that I'm drawing. So, and she is your guide. So, you know, she is with, very much with you, even though she's not in physical form. And remember, we live in an infinite universe and she is still very much with us. And you're going to get signs from her. Sometimes it takes a little while once they cross over to for you to, for them to learn how to use the new kind of energy that they have, you know, when they cross over, it's a little different than it is when we're in physical form in our bodies. So she's going to be sending you signs. If you're open to it and you look for it, she, she will do that. And depending on whatever resonated with you, like with, uh, you know, with my mother, she was born and raised in Philadelphia. And whenever I'm driving around and I'm going somewhere, smack dab in front of me is a Philadelphia license plate. And I know that's her, you know, it's always in front of me. And so some people it's uh, cardinals and birds or butterflies. Some people it's um, uh, pennies and coins, but they, you know, and they come to you in dreams. So she's not gone. She's gone in physical form, but she's very much with us. And if you open up to that and can open up to beyond your five senses, you'll see that and um, you'll know she's in a very good place. She's very happy. Awesome. I Thank hope that helped that. you. That does. That definitely does help. Um, it helps to, to hear that message. You know, right now, people, yeah, that does help. It was such a shock. I was also mm -hmm. wondering, you know, going forward, is there any, a book that either one of you could suggest or a program or any kind of thing that can so look up on Amazon or anything that you can think of that helps any one of your clients or yourself when you, you know, lost somebody and, and you know. I never mm, good question. I think you need to sort of get your happy on now because what yeah. she wants me to tell you is that, you know, that when, when they cross over, they never want their loved ones to feel paralyzed by the loss of their being in a physical plane. They want you to be happy more than anything else. And so mm -hmm. one of the books that can do that for you is called Shift Happens. And it's written by Robert Holden. And okay. it's... It's a very powerful book on how to look at life in a very positive way and how to spin it in a positive way always. And it'll make you really happy just reading it. Even if you read just a little bit every day or put it by your, you know, bedside table before you, you know, uh, go to sleep at night just to kind of set your day up, you know, because then when you go to sleep, you know, a lot of times they come to you in, in dreams and they'll, you'll have conversations. Your soul can leave your body even when you're alive and come back. And so you can go up and talk to her. I do it all the time with, with my parents. Mm -hmm. And so um, if you open up to that, you know, and you, you just kind of uh, decode all the stuff that's going on in your head and go beyond your five senses, meaning you're not loading it up with stuff like you're sad and everything else. When you're open and you're joyful, you get more messages. Mm -hmm. She yeah. can, you know, that okay. she'll be able to get through. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for calling in. Um, and like I said before, for those of you that want to spend more time with Jane and get a complete reading, you can do that by going to uh, Jane, your website, right? Enlightened-path.com. And there's a phone number too. Right. It's 203-631-4275. Awesome. Uh, Nathan, we have uh, somebody from California waiting. Yeah, Karen from California. You're on the air. Karen, how can we help you today? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Gotcha. Yes, hi. I hi. I I would like a uh reading. Um basically I don't I I have to make a decision um in regards to my uh marriage. Um I've been married uh going on thirteen years. Um, now I, I need to know, like, is he my twin flame? I know he's my soulmate, but I know not all soulmates are meant to be together. 
Um, is there mm-hmm. somebody else that would be that is a twin flame that's out there for me? Because I want to know in my way to okay. my time. In my Let me explain. Okay, so it's there never wasted. It, yeah, it's never wasted time because who you're meant to be and who you come into acquaintance with in this life, you're meant to be with because there's a lesson in everything. And twin flames is a dual thing. It's not always a loving relationship. Sometimes they were in a loving relationship with you in a previous life, but they um, they're here to like push your buttons for your growth. Mm-hmm. So that's the other that's the other side of a twin flame. So sometimes the twin flame is your soulmate in terms of passion and love and romance, but other times it's your life lesson where they push your buttons, right, to make you grow where you wouldn't otherwise. So uh, my answer to that is and I'll, I'm going to do a reading for you as we're talking, but but I'm my answer to that is if there's love still there, I would uh you know, then it Nine times out of ten, there's there's communication that needs to happen because we all grow up in different families and we all have different life experiences and we're not meant to be. You know that Jerry Maguire movie that said "You complete me." That's yeah, yeah. totally a, it's totally a crock. I mean, it yeah. is. It is because we're so different and we're meant to be different. We come together and do things that we love and have fun with, but you know we're not meant to be glued to each other and. And to, you know, at the hip, we're supposed to lift each other up and embrace our differences and, and uh, you know, help each other be the best beings that we can be wh- while we're together. Okay. Yeah. So, so the question what, really is, though, you hmm. know, uh, here I am, 12, 13 years uh, into the relationship. And you're, it sounds like you're asking the question, do I really, should I really still be here? Right? Correct. You know, it, do I, do, is it time for me to uh, hit the road? So well, what, they're, what they're saying is that you may benefit from a little time apart. Mm. You know, a little time apart might be, and that could be, you know, not necessarily, and I'm not saying that, you have to move out if you're living together. But, you know, that that could be if you want to take baby steps instead of, you know, like really uh, doing something uh, much more uh, in terms of a separation. You can just go out and about and be out more often with friends and in your tribe and see how that feels. Um, and that may, you know, with communi- the right kind of communication – with someone, if you if there's still love there, I mean, it's a very different answer if there isn't love there. But it's saying that you could benefit from be- not only better communication, really talking about, you know, not the personalities, but, you know, and not getting, you know, into a defensive situation, but something that would speak to listen when you when you say this, this is how it makes me feel without pointing a finger or being right, because, you know, it's never about being right. It's about being happy and both of you being happy. However that looks, whether you decide to stay or whether you decide to leave. But it, it, they're recommending a little time, you know, a little less time together in order for you to really think about that and decide if there's love still there and if there's something that can be recaptured in terms of, you know, communication and, and, and a connection with your heart, you know, because you always come from your heart no matter what. Mm-hmm. And then it's saying, once you do that, that you're going to, you know, that, that it will be a, a much happier time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can, do you, does that yeah. make sense to you? Do, can you see that? Yes, um, I think I, I possibly could. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I. I could I could see that, you know, and it's just one of those things where it's like pain, like is pain going to cause growth? And this might be the the pain that causes growth. Mm. Well, pain usually always causes mm-hmm. growth, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, it's being true to your. You don't want to yeah. feel pain. 
<laughs> no, you don't, but you don't have to stay there either. You yeah. know, that old saying that says just because you were given a cactus, you don't have to sit on it. I mean, yeah. right. It's just, it's true. It's like, we are all, we all have these life experiences and I know Pat and I, and we all, everyone I've ever known in my life has had periods of great challenge and it's how you come through it and the beautiful decisions that you make from your heart that make you who you are and how you triumph and the lessons that you learn and, and that empower you and heal you. So, yeah. you know, and then that's what it's all about. You know, that whenever this is happening to you, it's, it's the universe that's saying, um, you know, become an alchemist, you know, convert lead into gold and, uh, you know, where there is, um, you know, anger, uh, forgiveness and, and, uh, where there is pain, um, you know, there's hope and, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it can be very empowering. It's just how you see it. You know, try to see the good. Mm -hmm. Try to see the good. And that's where you align. You know, that's where you come into alignment. And I think that's mm -hmm. what this is about. Yeah. So when you're in alignment, that brings about healing. And so that's the journey you're on. Because yeah. we're all spiritual beings having an ex a human human experience. Yeah. And, and remember when watching. you called into the show, the door was already open with the question that you asked, right? So somewhere in your mm -hmm. heart, you're asking the question about, you know, is there something that needs to change here? You know, that's really what you're asking for yourself. Is there something that needs to change here? So, you know, part of this is now figuring out how to go about this. How do, how do you do this in the way that Jane says, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's a how you empower yeah. courage and yeah. love right Jane? yeah and that's how you empower yourself you know mm -hmm. and so always no matter what is happening mm -hmm. you always come from love no, whatever the problem whatever the question mm -hmm. it's always love that's who mm -hmm. we are because there's only two choices love or fear mm -hmm. so it's always love and even if someone's hurting us it's always love because that's who we are yeah. and that's you never want to look back on your life and say oh, I wish I hadn't done that or I wish I had done it in a different way. It's very empowering when you can kind of hit the pause button on your emotional track and that track that's going through your head where you go into a little bit of your ego and you're saying, wow, you know, it's me. But it's really the two of you because you're, you've been brought together for a purpose. Mm -hmm. So it's how you step through that. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that the how sometimes is more important than the what. Keep that in mind. Um, the other part of this, though, is, you know, it's really clear that you're being called to do something here. That this is not a situation that requires complacency. So you've got the tools you need. And if not, please feel free to give Jane a call. So there might be more that she wants to or is able to share. And I'd schedule a separate time with her if you could. How's that sound? Yes, I'll definitely uh, look into it. Okay, good. What is the website? It's info at Enlightened Path. Uh, but there's an asterisk between Enlightened and Path dot com. So it's info at Enlightened dash Path dot com. Yep, that's it. Send her an email and a phone number, Jane, one more time. It's 203-631-4275. Yeah, thank you so much for calling in. Uh, okay. You know, neither one thank of us you. are saying that this is easy. I mean, I was at the same point in time in my relationship when I was asking the same questions. And I know you're going to know exactly what to do. I know you will. Your heart knows what to do. Exactly. Just well, listen thank to your you. heart. Thank yeah. you. Jane, this hour went by so quickly. Thank so you for quick. everything today. And again, one more time for our listeners, please tell them how they can get a hold of you and personal message. What do you want to leave us with today? Um, Hafi said, I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in darkness, the astonishing light of your being. And, and it's your own being and your light. Just remember the power of your heart and your light. Mm. And come from that. 
That's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, again, enlightened-path.com. Uh, phone number, Jane? 203-631-4275. Yeah, thank you. And if you've missed any part of this, this will play again later on tonight, as well as all of it is live on Facebook now. Thank you all for tuning us in. Thank you, Carter, for pushing all the right buttons and helping me <laughs> out with my headset. Nathan, thank you for doing what you do. And Jane, thank you for being the light. No, oh, it's it's been such a pleasure. It's been all wonderful right, everybody. being here. Thank you. Yeah, boy. Let's ignite our inner light together and our inner magic. Let's grow our soul. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to Grow Your Soul Radio with Jane Matanga on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope you'll join us next week as Jane helps you unlock and reclaim the magic in your life. For more information on Jane Matanga or to listen to past shows, visit her website at enlightened-path.com or growyoursoulradio.com. And don't forget to ask Jane about her amazing intuitive life mastery session. See you next time. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.